I'm going to start with an example of Fahrenheit to Celsius where we have 340 degrees Fahrenheit and we want to convert that into a temperature in Celsius. The equation we use for that is this temperature Celsius is 5 ninths of the quantity the temperature Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you might recognize this equation looks similar to another one. The one that's often shown in textbooks gives us the 9 fifths the temperature in Celsius plus 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is really just doing the algebra of subtracting the 32 over to the other side. And then you've got your quantity of the temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32. And then you cross multiply the 9 fifths becomes 5 ninths. When we go to plug in our equation, we put our temperature in Fahrenheit in, and we've got the quantity of 350 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're taking care of the offset here before we take care of the scale changes there. And that's going to give us a value of, still our 5 ninths out front, of 318 degrees Fahrenheit. Now remember our scales over here, this is really 5 degrees Celsius is the same size as 9 degrees Fahrenheit. So when we multiply that 5 ninths times the 318, we've got a temperature of 177 degrees Celsius. So it becomes Celsius now instead of Fahrenheit because that was 5 degrees Celsius and 9 degrees Fahrenheit. You also notice if you plug this in your calculator, I've rounded it off. It was actually 176.667, but since we started off with two or three significant digits, we should make sure that we don't have too many decimal places. If you're doing other calculations, you may want to keep the extra decimal places and then round at the very end. As a second example, we're going to take a look at a starting temperature of minus 40 Fahrenheit. And again, we're taking that into Celsius. We're going to use our same equation here we did last time and plug in our negative, making sure in the calculator we're using the negative sign correctly. Negative 40 minus negative 32, that's going to get us a negative 72. Then multiply by our scaling factors of the 5 divided by the 9, and our final answer is minus 40. Nope. That's not a mistake. Minus 40 and minus Celsius are actually the same temperature. If you were to look at a thermometer that goes that cold, you'd see that the numbers are actually aligned at that point. 